This woman found out her daughter calls someone else mom. Parenting can be filled with many challenges that keep moms and dads guessing about their children. The hope is that your child grows up to love you as much as you love them, but that doesn't always happen. Even when you make so many sacrifices to ensure that they have the best life possible, some kids just don't respect their parents the way they ought to. Usually, when they get a little older, they realize all their parents have done for them and change their opinions on their folks. There's no instructional manual for being a parent, so who's to say what the best way is of bringing a child up? As long as you keep a roof over their heads, provide them with food and education, then there's not much more you can do. One woman had provided the best family home she could for her daughter, but found out she also calls another woman mom. When you're an adult, it can be a little tricky making friends. But when one woman's husband met a friendly coworker, they hit things off instantly. The husband was working at the same company as a friendly older woman, and after spending so much time together, they realized they had a connection. The woman in this story, who shall remain anonymous, said she and her husband met this woman about 10 years ago. They didn't waste any time in becoming friends, and after a short while, they were all thick as thieves. The husband and wife discovered their new friend was unable to conceive a child, despite many years of trying. Finding out you can't have children is a tough pill to swallow, particularly for people who really had their hearts set on it. It can't have been easy for the woman to find out she wasn't going to start a family of her own, but she was able to get on with her life as best as possible. There might always be a little hole in her heart where a family would have been, but she had to find a way past the setback. While kids were not going to be an option for her, she and her partner were making great strides with her co-worker and his wife. They were becoming like a small family anyway. The husband and wife soon discovered they were pregnant not long after befriending the woman who couldn't have children. It might have been an awkward conversation to have, but if she was truly a friend to them, then she'd be happy for them. The husband and wife had only just gotten married three months ago and weren't planning on having a child just yet, but nature intervened. There was a bun in the oven, and it wasn't going to be long before it was out and ready to see the world for itself. Kids were not the focus for this young couple, but they were going to be whenever the child burst into their lives. The pregnant woman said she first got to know this other lady when her husband's work threw her a baby shower. Her husband had always talked about the friendly woman he worked with, and now she got to put a face to the name. The pregnant woman could see why her husband had talked so kindly about her, and she made a big impression on her. The wife said her husband's friend and partner were a bit older than them, but they had similar interests and were just generally very kind. It was hard not to like this older couple. And as the years passed, their bond grew stronger and stronger. Soon they were dropping by each other's houses like besties. The younger woman had struggled throughout the pregnancy with morning sickness and said she spent the first few months of her pregnancy with her head down the toilet. She eventually got over the morning sickness, but four weeks before the due date, her kid was coming. The woman gave birth to a baby girl who had to spend the first two weeks of her life in the hospital. It was a tough time for the young couple, but eventually their baby was allowed to come home. It took the young mother another few weeks before she was comfortable enough to introduce her daughter to any of her friends. That was when the new mother introduced her daughter to her husband's co-worker and her close friend. As soon as the mother introduced her daughter to her close friends, she could tell they were instantly in love with her. The mom thought they fell for her dark brown eyes and gushed over her tan skin and thick hair. The baby was very calm and also curious, something the mother thought made her child easy to love. Although the new mother wanted to spend as much time with her baby as possible, she knew she needed to rely on help, and that's where her friend comes in. Years passed by, and the woman relied a lot on her friend to help look after her daughter. With work and homework, it was tough to bring up a child, and her daughter loved spending time at her aunt's house. Her daughter was getting older and spending more time with the family friends. She'd grown so close to her aunt that she even called her mom sometimes. The real mother found out from her friend what her daughter had been calling her. After initially being reserved about introducing her daughter to anyone after her premature birth, the mother soon began to rely on her friend. The mom said that if there was one place she was comfortable with her daughter being in her early months and years, it was at her friend's house. Where her house was crammed full of baby stuff and 
guests wishing her well, her friend's house was clean, calm and clear of any clutter. It was the perfect getaway from the hectic life of being a new mother. Although her friend's house was perfect for a getaway from the hectic life of raising a child, the mother could tell that it was missing something. The mother could tell that her friend's home was just yearning for a little child running around the place. It was missing a child's laughter and footsteps, but it wouldn't be for long. The mother soon realized that this was a great place for her daughter to come whenever things at home were getting a little hectic. As the woman's daughter got older, she began staying at the family's friend's house. The mom and dad felt as though their friends were great babysitters because they had similar ideals and morals about raising children. Mostly, though, they knew their friends were responsible people who loved and cherished their daughter. Who better to leave her child with than people who would treat her as their own family? The more time the young girl spent with the family friends, the closer she got to them. The woman felt as though her friend was as responsible a babysitter as they could find. What was even better was, because they were friends, babysitting was free. The mom felt that even if their daughter so much as fell over in her friend's backyard, they would have picked up the phone to let them know. There was nothing to worry about as far as the parents of the little girl were concerned. She was always going to be safe and sound with their friends. The mom said that whenever she and her husband occasionally get to go on a date night, their daughter gets to stay at their close friends. Their child gets dropped off at their friend's house and sometimes even insists that she stays the night. It's a nice break for the girl's parents and can feel like a little mini vacation for their daughter. It's great that she has somewhere she feels so comfortable staying at when her parents are doing their own thing. In fact, their mother said that sometimes her daughter insists upon staying at the friend's house whenever her parents are out having fun. The mother's always been happy to let her child stay with their friends, but now she's spending so much time there, she's beginning to call the woman mom. She doesn't mind because, as far as she's concerned, at least her daughter is safe and happy. Their friends have become so close, they even consider them as family now. The friends let the mom know that when they're out and about, some people confuse the child as their daughter. The woman said that people think her daughter belongs to her friends, and the friends don't even correct people when they make this mistake. After a while, they began to explain to strangers that they were not the girl's parents, but her aunt and uncle. This was what the girl was calling them anyway, and it brought up fewer follow-up questions. The mom said she's totally okay with her daughter calling their friends aunt and uncle because to them they're basically family anyway. Over the years they've all built up such a special bond with each other that they might as well be one big happy family. It's great for the mom to know that there's someone else she can rely on to help raise her little girl. What she couldn't have predicted though was that her daughter would become confused about what to call the family friend. The young girl is welcomed to her aunt and uncle's house with open arms and even has her own space to call her own at their home. She has her own room and loves getting to stay with her family's close friends. The girl picked out her own bedding and has a bunch of toys just waiting to be played with at the family friend's house. It really is a home away from home for her and somewhere she can relax without being nervous at being looked after by a stranger. The mother said she understood why her daughter sometimes called the other woman mom she said that when she's around mom, dad, aunt, and uncle, she acts in a certain way, and that can confuse her about who's looking after her. When the woman asked her daughter why she calls the other woman mom, she just told her that she gets confused. At least it's a sign that the girl has a lot of people to care about her rather than too few. After her friend told her that her daughter sometimes mistakenly calls her mom, the girl's mother said it stung a little. She said that after a couple seconds of pain, she just told her friend that everything was fine. As she was driving home that day, though, she stopped to think about whether it truly was okay or not. The woman didn't want to upset her friend, but it can't have been easy to hear that the girl you raised also calls someone else mom. The mother said she was confident enough to know that her daughter was aware of who her biological mom was. She said that the two of them share an unbreakable bond that no one else can replace, but that doesn't stop her daughter connecting with anyone else. There's room in people's hearts for more than just one person, and this woman's daughter has two women in her life that she can look up to. It's a little bit like when a child calls their teacher mom or dad. It's not because they actually think their teacher's their parent, it's just that they feel comfortable in the presence of that teacher. Educators play a big role in the lives of children, and often they can connect with them closely. The teacher isn't acting as a parental replacement, they're just another adult in their life. 
they're confident around to let their guard down a little. The mom said that in an ideal world, she'd be able to keep her daughter wrapped up at all times and not let any harm come to her. In reality, though, she knows that's not entirely possible. Instead of being the only person able to look out for her daughter, the mom said that she would rather have a larger group of people to love her. With more people to care for her daughter, it's more likely she'll grow up loved and given the attention she needs. Every time the young girl mistakes her aunt for her mom, this woman tells her. Each time she hears from her friend about this, she tells her it's okay. The mother thinks that her friend doesn't want to step on her toes, but she does appreciate being kept in the loop about it. While many parents would find it too painful to hear, this mother seems to think it's a good sign that her daughter's being well looked after. The mother says that part of being a parent is making sure to look after your children both when you're there and when you're not. She said it's not just about being called mom, but making sure your child is safe at all times. The mother said she wanted her daughter to know there's more than just one person she can come to. She wants her to feel as though there are a ton of people all looking out for her and that she can share anything with. 